In this video, I will explain the basics of how parenting works in Blender. So when you parent objects in Blender, one object is always going to be the parent, and then another object or multiple objects can be the children. Now when the children are parented to the parent object, when you move the parent object, the other objects will transform with the parent. So I can move or rotate or scale the parent, and the children objects will move along with it. However, the children objects can be transformed on their own. So I can rotate it, move it, or scale it, but then when I move the parent, the children move along with it. So using the parenting feature can be really useful, especially for animation. It can also be used for rigging, and it can be used for some animation and even some scene setup. So to parent one object to another object, you first want to select the child or the children object. So you can select one child or hold down the shift key and select multiple children objects. Then you're going to hold down the shift key and you're going to lastly select the parent. So whichever object is selected last, that will become the parent object. So this object here, you can see it has a yellow outline because it's the last one that I selected. And so that is the active object. So I'm going to shift select this one last, and then to parent, you can press control P and that is the shortcut. And then we can set parent to object. Now when I've done that, you can see that there are these little dotted lines here, and so that is showing us that these objects are the children, and then this object is the parent. So I can transform the parent object, and the children are transformed with it. However, I can still move the children around, and I can transform them separately. Now when you parent objects, that also affects how you preview the objects in the outliner. So again, I will hold down the shift key, select these two objects, and then lastly shift select this object. I'll go control P, set parent to object, and now you can see that there's just the parent object, and you have to hit the little arrow, and you can see now the children are within the parent object. So where can parenting be useful? Well, real quick, I'm just gonna make a quick animation, kinda have this kid jumping around here, and I have the auto key on. All right, so now if I go back here and play this, you can see the kid jumps around. So because this is a child object, it can move on its own. However, if I select the parent and move it around as I'm playing the animation, you can see that the child can still move on its own and it can still be animated, but then the parent can move as well. And when the parent moves, it moves the child. So that can be super useful if you have some sort of object which is animated, but then you wanna move it, you can just add a new object and just parent the animated object to the other one, and then you can move it around in the scene and it won't affect the animation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there can only be one parent object, but then there can be multiple children. However, a parent object can be a child of another object. So if I select the parent and then hold down the shift key and select this other parent, I can press control P and we're gonna set parent to object. So now, even though this is a parent, it is a child of the other object. So now this is like a grandparent. So I can move around this parent and it is a child of this object, but then I can move around this parent and then the other children will move, but then the children can move on their own. And so where this can be really useful is if you're doing some sort of mechanical rigging, like this example here, and you're mechanically rigging a robot arm. So I have a tutorial on how to rig this robot claw arm. Link will be in the description to that tutorial if you'd like to check it out. And I also have a free download of this 3D model. If you'd like to check that out, links in the description. So I have all of these different Different objects so all the parts are separate objects and these objects are parented to this object and then this object is parented to the next object and then this object is parented to the next object and it continues to go down so because I've set this up now I can rotate the base of the robot arm and then I can select another joint and I can rotate that and the other object will follow around and then I can select another joint rotate that and I can just continue to rotate all the joints and the rigging is going to work correctly because all of the objects are parented to the other objects down the chain. So this is a super useful way to do mechanical rigging in Blender. And as I mentioned, I do have a tutorial on how to rig this. So if you'd like to check that out, the link will be in the description. So let's say I wanted to unparent the children so they're no longer following the parent. So if I just select the objects to unparent them, you can press Alt P instead of Control P. And I will click on Clear Parent. So because the parent was cleared, these objects now jump back to the transform that they were at before they were parented. However, if you don't want that to happen, let me just press Control Z to undo that. I can instead select these objects and again press Alt P. And this time I'm gonna clear the parent, but it's gonna keep the transform. So I'll choose clear and keep transform. So now you can see those dotted lines have disappeared. So this is now no longer gonna move around the child objects, so they're unparented, but these objects stayed where they are. So hopefully this video has given you a good understanding of how parenting objects work in Blender. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more Blender quick 
tips, then definitely check out my Blender Quick Tips tutorial playlist. Link is in the description. And if you'd like to help support the channel, a great way to do that is by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page, where you can get access to 3D models and assets, tutorial files, artwork project files, procedural materials, and much more Blender content on my Gumroad and my Patreon page. But I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.